I will meditate on your precepts. Psalm chapter 119 verse 15 There are times when solitude is better than companionship and when silence is wiser than speech. We would be better Christians if we were more alone, waiting upon God, and gathering spiritual strength for labor in His service through meditation on His Word. We ought to ponder upon the things of God, for in doing so, we receive true spiritual nourishment from them. Truth is something like the cluster of the vine. If we want wine from it, we must bruise it. We must press and squeeze it many times. The bruiser's feet must come down joyfully upon the bunches, or else the juice will not flow. They must tread the grapes well, or else much of the precious liquid will be wasted. So we must tread the clusters of truth by meditation, if we want to get the wine of consolation from them. Our bodies are not supported by merely taking food into the mouth, but the process that really supplies the muscle, the nerve, the sinew, and the bone, is the process of digestion. It is by digestion that the outward food becomes assimilated with the inner life. Our souls are not nourished merely by listening a while to this, to that, and then to the other part of divine truth. Hearing, reading, marking, and learning, all require digesting inwardly to complete their usefulness, and the inward digesting of the truth lies, for the most part, in meditating upon it. Why is it that some Christians, although they hear many sermons, yet make slow advances in the divine life? It is because they neglect their closets, and do not thoughtfully meditate on God's word. They love the wheat, but they do not grind it. They want the corn, but they will not go forth into the fields to gather it. The fruit hangs upon the tree, but they will not pluck it. The water flows at their feet, but they will not stoop to drink it. O Lord, deliver us from such folly, and may this be our resolve this morning. I will meditate on your precepts.